Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We're still in this historic site. Are we? Did I finish this historic site? I can't remember. Oh no, we're in the ruins. I can't remember if I was coming out or if I was going in. I feel like we were coming out. I guess I'm going in now. <laughs> Quillipede switches to aggressive stance. Yo, the uh this Quillipede knows the uh, knows long blade techniques. Is that a thing? I didn't realize that that is a thing. We're inspired dueling stance. Um, let's switch to aggressive stance herself. And oh, we got another Quillipede making their way. Um, this guy is doing a very good job of fending me off. That corrosive gas. We're gonna we're gonna go upstairs. What else we got going on? Quillipede? Coming up, Quillipede? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave. Um return with a critic corpse. Did I do I have a critic corpse on me right now? I don't. Did I seriously not do red rock? I thought I did do red rock. Did I not? What what is happening? <laughs> I am so confused. I seriously did not finish off the Red Rock quest. Well, we clearly came here. I remember the slime. I remember not liking the slime. Um, I thought I killed a critter, uh, a, a Gershling. And I thought I did the, the long road back. But, um, maybe I didn't grab a corpse. Did I, like, sell the corpse? Is that a corpse there? Oh, there's, there's the Gershling corpse. Grab it. Okay, uh, oh god, I hate you, cud. Not, not the game, the cudite, the, the, the kudzu. You're too famished. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to Jopa and I guess hand in... I didn't mean to collect that. I'm I'm playing horribly right now. I will. I I think uh, maybe for the next series I'll do a uh, I'll start doing random locations. The only reason I was still doing Jopa is because um, Red Rock and Rust Wells are still novel to me um, after having like been updated. But here we're gonna give Irodad a return Red Rock with the Spiderling. There you go. There you go. Gershling. Oh wow. Uber Nostrum. Thank you. Oh thank you. Uh, awesome. Yeah, great. Uh, just gonna go ahead and splat. Drop that in the middle of Jopa. And um, we got a fix it spray foam. What else did we get? We got an Uber Nostrum. We have lots of salves. We're, we're, we're pretty kitted out. Let's go cook a meal. Eat some apple mats. Um, someone was telling me or saying that, um, Argive, after you've done a few quests for him, will let you just kind of, like, root through his stuff. Uh, this is never- something I've never done. I've never, ever done this. I've never thought to take all of Argive's stuff, but it makes sense. Um, I- I appreciate that this is a thing I can do. Weird artifact. What is this? A fungicide grenade and some wine. Uh, we're stealing his wine. I feel bad about that. I know he doesn't technically care, but I still feel bad about this, that. And we have a strange furniture. Can we... Let's examine it. As a peptic bed. I don't know what a peptic bed is. But anyway. Alright, so we've, uh, we've put a pin in that. Um, travel to the historical site of Kamish. Uh, investigate Bela, travel to the historical site of Karana, locate Daramish, uh, recover, travel to the historical site of Miwan Menor, locate the Mechanimus compound at Bethesda Susa. I think that maybe I was gonna go to Bethesda Susa. It feel, it does feel kind of right, um, but maybe before we do, I'm gonna make a quick stop at the rusted archway. I know it's not a necessarily a super quick stop, but you know, it's not, not not, you know. I wish I could ask the Equins, the Equimax, for uh, assistance on my on my current situation. 
please find uh, help me become unlost i saw one of the patch notes was like um did we kill that a uh a, a being that is lost cannot give you directions when you're lost which is a very caves of could sentence i love that okay we regain our bearings we're going to the rust rusted archway um this is something i i do like to do probably on every oh my god we have this is the this this is the richest rust wells i think i've ever seen i actually i don't even want to take anything right stop stop grabbing i have to take i actually have to take a screenshot of this this is absurd holy crap That's one for the the caves of cut discord for sure. Oh my god. Look at all that all the stuff. Like I, I I actually fear I don't have enough room. Folded carbide dagger. I mean that's that's nice. Compass bracelet. Um carbide long sword, I'll take it. Uh we've got a poison gas grenade, I'll take that too. Folded carbide dagger, those are worth quite a bit. Carbide arrow, steel gauntlets. What are we wearing right now? Upper hand, steel gauntlets, chain gauntlets. We're, we're, we're good with uh, for for steel uh, gauntlets. We can take the carbide arrow. I found out recently in Galen's, uh, me and Galen's series that arrows are technically a short blade, which I think is just so cool. I, I love that. Um, so we have too much stuff. Probably it's because we're not disassembling because there's technically stuff on the board. We do have a gun. We should use it. What uh, what is aggressive? Oh, those. Okay. Well, uh, I don't really care about those. So I'm just gonna go do the old standby, disassemble all this business. We're already like very encumbered. We have a glow sphere. I will definitely take that. That's good trade fodder. Shotgun shells. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry the one that one guy that uh, wanted me to try shotguns <laughs> I tried it for about like five minutes all of five minutes before uh, You know moving on. I'm so sorry about that Slender carbide longsword. No, we were good for long swords. I think I'm good. I I've almost got a full set of um, Folded carbide long swords pump shotgun. We're gonna go ahead and treat these as scrap and disassemble that um, Copper nugget silver nugget steel helmet. Can we wear that? Oh, we're wearing an electric snail shell. I think that's actually better in some ways um, Sniper rifle. Oh, I love a sniper rifle, but we can't use it. I'm gonna go ahead and treat that as a as scrap I'm sorry. I, I love the sniper rifle. It's one of my favorite early like guns in the game. Desalination pellet. Well, that's actually just money in the bank right there. Uh, we have an advanced toolkit. I will definitely grab that. Chain mail, plastic tree. Disassemble that. Um, can't use this chain mail. Carbide dagger. Carbide longsword. We don't can't use any of that. I mean, you know. Unpowered. Are you sure you want to continue without using it? No. All right, let's power it. We, we should have more than enough cells to spare one. Um, you know, like not every chest had something of super valuable in it, but like at the same time, a lot of them did. Um, can we use this or do we already have one? We have a feathered nylon body pack, so we actually don't need this. And it's it's too heavy for us to take. I love uh, you know I know the, the the nylon body pack is actually very good trade fodder. Well, it's it's okay. It's okay, but like, it, it sells for a nice mount. Yo, can you pass by the pump shotgun? All right, we're just gonna go ahead and disassemble that. All right, that's what my dude was getting hung up on is the fact that there was. A pump sh shotgun he had to disassemble. I really hope I don't die now because that's a lot of stuff uh, to redo. Almost feel like going back to Jopa to uh, save, make a checkpoint. I'm pretty sure we're like good. I don't think there's anything here that can like do a serious harm. 
appreciate the honey skunks honestly they uh they open things up a bit you know okay um yeah i should have done this like ages ago but i am gonna actually set um our automation to ignore enemies less than none it's like seriously it, it like i should only set that to easy when we're like basically in the late stages of cud and even then it's a probably actually more dangerous to do that i don't know it's there's no good answer i like you, you kind of take take your chances with cud if you're if you're ignoring enemies any enemies you are putting yourself at risk there's just no getting around that sometimes you can even get yourself killed like it, it it has been known to happen okay what is happening why are we still ignoring the pig i have it okay there we go i don't understand why auto explorer is ignoring creatures we're famished let's go ahead and cook cook a meal make a camp preserve your food whip up a meal we're good there's tons of uh closed doors here that i kind of wouldn't mind checking out we'll come back maybe when i have a few more security cards oh we're here in um a chain gun oh a beetle uh, ooh, is that a floating glow sphere? I wonder. We're gonna set to dueling stance. Swipe. Between. Um, we just we did disarm the chain gun. What do we got here? Leather boots. Nothing really good. But what kind of battle do we have? Petty mortal, place three raw scorpioc meats before me, and I shall reward you with great renown. Um, uh, we actually do know where we can get that. Uh, there was a legendary spiderling and they were kind of surrounded by Scorpiox. I wonder if I made a note of that in my journal. Uh, miscellaneous? Mm, I don't think I did. Named look natural features, historic sites. No, I don't think I did. Um, I do know sort of semi where it is in the dunes take the bandage uh i will take the witchwood bark even you know it's it's worth it i like i like having a little bit of extra um witchwood bark is that a floating glow sphere no it's just a glow sphere we got some lover's blossom lover's block oh what did we take that put us over the limit star apple jam let's go ahead and preserve our fresh food we are impaled Two-headed boars. I love this slow roll and with boars because it's like, you know, boar, no problem. Slug snout, oh my god, that's a problem, right? Two-headed boar, uh, that's not really a problem. I'm fine with that, you know. Two-headed slug snout, oh my god. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. But like, it's just, I, I love, I love how we kind of like very slow roll into that. Um, well, I just had to go and mention the forbidden slug snout now, didn't I? Oh, that's a fire snout. Okay, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, we did just make enemies with a hermit, unfortunately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that room for the time being. Is there a seed spitter that I forgot to... What is happening? A seed whizzes. Oh, you know what? That's probably happening downstairs. Are we... We're not cool with this one hermit. Okay, and now we're not cool with all hermits. Sucks. Sucks, guys. Um, you know, like, I, I don't... I don't choose these things, but my gun is, is, is very unbiased. It just kind of hits everything. What did we pick up? Oh, we picked up more boar meat. I'm so sick of this boar meat. I think I might turn off Butcher. Let's turn off Butcher for the time being. 
until I, I see something worth butchering, like a Scorpioc, for instance. Cybernetics credit wedge. That's why we're here. Freeze grenade. That's quite nice. I'll take a box of grenades. Uh, actually, I, I, well, I guess we'll take all of these, even though I am now over encumbered. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. 46 pounds of, <laughs> of energy cells. We might have to start disassembling some stuff. Treat fidget cells as scrap. Go ahead. Um... I'll disassemble one lead acid cell. I'm not going to treat them as scrap, though. Oh, look at all these fidget cells. My goodness. They're probably worth something. They're probably not worth as much as solar cells, though. Still, um, I'm going to disassemble all of them. Because those are really good bits. CD and one. The one is, like, honestly good. Um, that's what you use to charge stuff with. Uh, like if we recharge this, yeah. Oh no, it's not one. It's A. My bad. I, I'm getting my, my info so, so completely wrong. I'm so sorry about that. Um, we'll treat, uh, disassemble all those chem cells. I wouldn't mind, actually, well, we won't. We're gonna, we're gonna, um, keep those to sell. Because apparently cells in general are very good, um, you know, trade fodder. Didn't know. I really didn't know. Never occurred to me. Never, never occurred to me to try and, and sell uh, spare energy cells. Okay, what do we got here? Stabilizer arm locks. We'll take those. What is this? Skill soft juicer. I seem to recall. I do, I do remember what that does. Strange tubes. That's a grenade launcher. I can't really spare the room for a grenade launcher. I'm going to take it and we'll see what we can do. Oh, I guess I can spare the, the room for it. Never mind. So we've got our, um, our gateway at the bottom of, uh, the rusted archway. This is, this is a fairly new thing is that, um, the, these are, uh, guaranteed to spawn at the base of the rusted archway. The Tumas Sun Gate. Capacitor low. Take 52 A bits to fully recharge it. I don't want to do that. Um, surely to God we can repair something. I think that we just need to turn this thing on. Examine that. Is it fusion power station? Oh, it's deactivated. That must mean that there is um, a broken line somewhere. I don't know how I'd find it though. I'd have to like look at each of these walls. Uh, I might be able to like, hold on. I can't remember if you can lay down cable. Don't make it weird. Miscellaneous wire strand. Um, deploy wiring. Space start wiring. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. I, I think I can actually do this. I don't, like, I don't know where the break is, so we may as well just deploy some new wiring. Okay, you have to be, like, adjacent to it. Let's, um, let's get rid of this thing. It's gonna get in my way. Damaged. Damage, broken, badly damaged, come on. There we go. Okay. Rust, uh, wire strand, deploy wiring, boop. So we'll go like that. Okay, okay, that actually does work. Um, I can't believe this is in cut, honestly. This is like one of the coolest, like little, um, I, I dare say mini game, but it's not really. And we're almost there. Good thing I have tons of spare wiring. Done. And there we go. It's uh, it's repaired. Now I'm not gonna take that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that. But I know it's there, and I will take it uh, in a future episode. Solemn swear. Uh, promise. Pinky promise. Okay. Um. Did I check out? 
this historic site? I guess I did. I can't remember if I went to the base of it, though. Did I go all the way to the base of this? I, I kind of can't. Oh, is this where I got that pistol? I think it is. I think this is where I got the pistol and I was very unimpressed with that pistol. Okay, so we're 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 good with that. There is another name location somewhere or histor historic site. There's a river one. I really don't care for a river um, historic sites. Not a fan. Not a fan. Kind of want to try and find that legendary um, spiderling. But where would I even go? Like, I know there, I know it's out there. <laughs> Jesus, I really should have made a note of it, shouldn't I? Like, listen, you don't you don't expect these things to matter. Um, Dromad Caravan, Tumas Avoid, Secondy, uh, Secondy Two. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't know where they are. I'd have to comb like a large portion of the uh, the desert and I'm just not a fan um, I think we should sell some stuff Let's go to the stilt. You're lost. I'm cool with that. Honestly uh, I'm not cool with this however Hold on, is that a slug snout? It was a fire snout. Wow, I keep I keep uh, bumping into fire snouts. We are gonna. I, I think we'll probably end up going to Bethesda Susa on the next episode. We're gonna sell our stuff. I want to get some more uh, cool data discs. And. Um, you know, we'll we'll make ourselves uh, make our way to Bethesda Seuss on the next episode. I really hope that I don't do something really stupid and end up dying. I wish our, our I wish our guy was a, a bit of a better aim. He's kind of hopeless. We can't. Uh, you they can almost speak uh, common. They can't tell us where we are. I am inspired. I should probably cook a meal. I think I've got some Hulk honey injectors. I should like start preserving Hulk honey injectors and, and making some good recipes. I love the, the Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good like fade to dust from getting shot with lasers. It's so good. Oh, you froze me. Jerk. I'm, I'm honestly more upset that you wasted that freeze grenade than anything else. We took a uh, strange artifact. What did we, what did we, what did we pick up? Electrified bronze mace. Um, I'm just going to drop that. I'm not even, well, actually we can disassemble it, I suppose. No, we can't. I can disassemble the cell. So we'll remove the cell and then we'll drop this. Are we, oh, we're not, we're not on good terms with uh, centipedes or centipedes, dragonflies. It's fine. We have a really good range weapon. They are no longer a threat to us. I remember like honestly vividly my very first session of playing cud and um i was like you know just kind of bumming around the swamps fighting um fighting glowfish mostly because it was like that was the only way i knew to gain experience consistently i kept dying i don't i don't remember what the first thing that killed me was but i do remember st struggling a lot against dragonflies like i kept Ending up being on bad terms with dragonflies somehow, 
and um, they were just such a pain in the butt and it, it almost made me bounce off cud because it was like how am I supposed to fight something that's flying well the answer is of course um, to shoot it Uh, yeah, I figured we were almost out of power there. We only need to shoot him once. There we go. Unfortunately, this second one has discovered us. I guess... So, I... Very strangely, um... Like... I, I, I hesitate to say unbalanced, but like... The weird thing about my laser beam is that it seems to leave the equipment intact which is really nice like i i think about um the uh the, the flare or whatever it's called um the light beams lays and uh the worst part about lays is that you you know it destroys the equipment so i'm just like wondering why the the chain gun laser isn't exactly the same um, all right, so let's first of all talk to Zezapur. I don't know if we have anything else to give him. No, we don't Okay, uh, we'll talk to the schematics drafter. We definitely have a ton of stuff to sell Um, we have we could get woolly I mean that's Something Kind of like the precinct navigator Uh Displacer bracelet. I seem to recall really liking this thing I can't remember what it does, but I know it does something nice. I'll I'll buy a poison gas grenade. Can't remember what precision nanon fingers do, but I think they're like they increase your agility or something. Oh yeah, I forgot we got a fork helmed fork horned helm. I love this thing so much. Uh alright, so we'll sell this. We've got a bunch of books, not too many books, but we've got some books we can hand in. I'm going to go ahead and, and sell the stabilizer arm since it's actually quite heavy. Um, these are things that I want to learn, but I don't have the tinkering chops to do so yet. We'll sell all of our chem cells that are empty. Sell that just to get rid of it. Um, sell this and this. I might not have as much trade goods as I thought. We've got... Oh, no, our thermal grenade is rusted. I might I might have to do something about that. Okay, so glow spheres are not as good as I thought. I don't know when we got this caca caca. But it, I, I kind of love it. I, I might want to do something with that. Um, sell our car, folded carbide daggers. We should... Um, I should honestly switch to all folded carbide longswords. And that's pretty good. We oh we have tons of ch jacked chain lasers. Uh, I should throw these down in, into the well. We could probably learn um, proselytization for free. Okay, let's do this. And I'm gonna make a precinct navigator if I am able to. You don't have to oh tinker too. I didn't see that coming, honestly. Oh, we can learn uh, poison gas grenades. We can't learn this. We need Tinker 2. Can we take Tinker 2? We can't. We need 200. Bomber. You know, it just occurs to me that Deploy Turret is totally an option for this run. It's totally an option because we could just like flick off every single weapon off of enemy turrets and then start deploying our own and then just walk enemies into a, like a, a like a field of uh, turrets. Oh, that'd be kind of amazing, actually. Uh, I'm not going to take anything else. Well, we don't have the agility to, to take anything more for long blades. Um, I'm sure on guard is great, but I don't have the ability to do that. 23 agility oh i see we don't have to have 29 agility we can have 29 strength and 23 agility so you can uh, you can power through longsword with um with strength we don't have a 17 agility oh that's kind of embarrassing 
Oof. We do have two attribute points. Um, probably should spend those. Okay, um, we're not done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and check out our... I'll check out the, um... Hatter, actually. The Hatter can sometimes have some good stuff. Not today. Okay. We're too famished? Okay, we'll, we'll cook a meal. Uh, and then we'll go to... Skim Drafter... One? Um, schematics Drafter. The, the... I love roleplay mode, but the, this making a checkpoint when I do this is kind of a pain. Spring Loaded. I can't remember what that does. Grants bonus move speed. Oh, that's uh, something we can apply to our boots. That would be good. I don't know what 3D cobblers are. Antimatter cell would be nice, but we don't have like that. That's just so late game. It's not even worth bothering with right now. Uh, Willowy is actually quite nice. Uh, is it though? It's actually like not great to be honest. Um, can sell some more chem cells. I don't really want to just yet. We'll sell these sower seeds. Apparently I have a bunch of sower seeds. And those take up a lot of room, actually. There's nothing I can really do with them. I'm going to sell these carbide longswords. This one's rusted, apparently. And the, the these daggers, we don't need that. And then we have enough. Um, I, I really kind of want some more grenades. How many grenades do we have? Oh, we have high explosive grenades. Okay, that's the main thing. We have high explosive grenades and freeze grenades are actually quite good. And EMP grenades. Okay, we've, we've got the three check boxes. Thermal grenades are good too. Um, poison grenade, grenades are also quite good. So we've got we've got the major boxes checked. That's that's the important thing. If we're going to Bethesda Susa, I don't want to go there until I have grenades. That's really the big thing. We'll check out our haberdasher real quick. Scarlet shawl. Grassy, no, nothing much there. And we'll have a quick look at our schematic. Last schematic drafter. Wake up. Wake up, bud. You're going to make some money. Fitted with a beam splitter. Fitted with a beam splitter. Now, I am going to take this for a very specific reason. Is it actually leads to an achievement. <laughs> Phase shift grenade, rolling chair, spring turret grenade, mark three. Tread guard. I mean, eh, I have some pretty okay stuff, but I don't really need it, any of it. I can't remember actually what fitted with suspensors do. Oh, it's Tinker 3. When powered, this item is weightless. I actually don't need that. We're going to have so much strength in the late game that it really isn't going to matter. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's sell our goat jerky. I don't really need that. I'll sell this thermal grenade because apparently we can make them. We're just about out of stuff to sell. Well, we do have this chain. <laughs> um, let's sell the grenade launcher. I don't think I need to throw that into the well. Okay. And before we end the episode, sorry, I know I keep saying that. Um, I am going to go hand in our books and also drop some stuff in, in the well. Uh, except not a lot of XP, but it's a lot of weight to carry. I, I know I, I could, I, I need to throw a chest down here and, um, and then, you know, it becomes a lot easier. Okay. How much? Oh my God. Chain, jacked chain lasers. I think that's enough to give me an achievement. No, I need, I think I need 200 reputation to make that matter. But yeah, I think I am going to do this because I can get more of these quite easily. And accept. 791, you are now loved by the Mechanimus. And we're gonna learn... Actually, did I make friends with the with this guy? Disliked by Hermits and disliked by the Consortium of Fida. I think I was okay with that. Oh, I guess not. 
So I have some secrets. Oh, it might have been, um, yeah, our reputation increased by 25. I did make friends with the Pope, but uh, I have since gained um, the water sharing uh, skill. So I'm going to ask for proselytization. So we've learned proselytization for free, basically. Uh, we could also ask him for a couple of secrets. Maybe just one will be fine. Oh, I'll ask for two. So we know we know a couple of things. Those are probably some interesting places to go visit. And we'll end the episode there. And on the next episode, I am for sure going to go to Bethesda Sousa. Um, we are pretty well equipped. I think that we have everything that we need. We have some good cold resist. We've got some, we've got grenades. I will um, make some grenades between this and the next episode, so you don't have to watch me do that. Um, we have shed enough water, although we still have quite a lot of weight on us. Probably energy cells mostly, but oh, it's melee weapons still. Maybe I ought to sell this. Strength bonus cap three. Freezing when powered, this weapon deals an additional six to eight cold damage. I mean, it's cool, but I don't think it's cool enough. Um, I am gonna. Oh, you know what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna get rid of the salt hopper mandibles. They are cool. I loved them, um, but now I I think I'm gonna move on. I think I might just like drop them here. I'm not gonna sell them. I I just kind of like them, so I'm gonna leave them where I know they will always be, which is the stilt. Yeah, anyway, we're, we're gonna, I'm gonna do all some inventory management between episodes. You don't have to worry about this. And, um, yeah, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.